we're gonna keep it out west. One more team that I want to talk about. Um, a team that has surprised a lot of people, myself included. I didn't think that they were gonna come out like definitely not like this this early. Um, sitting at six and three on the season is the Houston Rockets, who <laughs> just beat the defending champion Denver Nuggets last night to give them their second loss of the season. Um, and they're on a, this is a six game, like the start season 0 three and have not lost since then. Um, and these are not terrible teams. Like they play the Hornets, they beat the Hornets once, they beat the Kings twice, then they 30 piece the Lakers, Man. they beat the Pelicans by three. Now they beat the Nuggets by three. So it's like you can't you can't even make the argument that they just were beating up on bad competition. There are good teams in there, the defending champs are in there. Um, and look. This team is playing defense. We knew that Ime Udoka was going to come in and have these guys playing. I didn't know it was going to be like this this fast. They are playing defense. Dylan Brooks, the shooting. I don't. It's I thought there. it was gonna. I thought it was gonna cool off after the first, you know, four or five games. I'm like, bro, he's shooting like sixty percent from three. This ain't gonna stay. He's still sitting at fifty three percent from three. Can he hover above 40? Like, this is crazy to think of. Like, this is ridiculous, bro. This makes no sense, bro. I feel like we were the biggest Rockets guys all offseason. Even us were like, bro, what is right. this? <laughs> I was, I, I would not have imagined, like, to me, it was like, this is going to be a team that's like, you know, they could put, they got to push for the plan. Like, we we right. talked about it with Noah. It was like, that's just where they're at in the rebuild. They had to go out, they had to spend the money, they had to bring guys in. Like, now's the time where you make that push. It's playing looking like why are we underselling ourselves right now. They look like <laughs> who need to worry about seven through ten seed. We could try to get a top six seed the way that they're playing right now, and Not that's bad. a valid argument for them. I think a lot of it has to do with a their leading scorer right now is Al P, which I think is perfect. I don't know if it necessarily is going to stay that way. I wouldn't be surprised if Jalen Green, you know, gets that uptick and, and passes him. But what I do like to see and what I've seen a lot more on this six-game win streak versus that three-game loss streak to start the season is it feels like there are so many more possessions where he touches the ball. Like, it it feels like especially having a guy, and a, a veteran like Fred out there running your one, understanding that Ime knows, I think most fans know, I mean, I'm just Rocket fans, NBA fans understand that Alperen Shingun is a legitimate hub. He can be the hub for your offense. So thing, good things happen if he's able to touch the ball in the post on possessions. And then they are able to do a lot off of that in terms of working with spacing, in terms of backdoor cuts, um, in terms of him just being able to score out of the post. He's a very good post scorer. Um, and like I said, he credit to him as well on the defensive side of the ball. It's holding his own a lot better than he did last year. There's a lot of possessions where, like I said, down the stretch, Jokic turns it on. They banging and he ain't moving as much as I thought he was going to. He's holding his ground. He got a couple of turnovers off of him. So, look, Ime has these guys playing great. Um, Dylan Brooks, the shooting volume is down and the percentages are up, which is, hey, that was probably most of the complaint from Grizzlies fans. It's like, we ain't saying you never got to shoot, but who gave you the green light to shoot? Eight nine threes. threes. Yeah, Sorry, like, eight threes, doing? nine threes. <laughs> Now he's only averaging a little over three a game. That feels more his speed. Let's let's get that <laughs> right. there. Um, but look, and on top of this, Amen Thompson has been hurt for I think the last five or six games. Cam Whitmore is in the G right now. Like, right. there could be more coming Reinforcements later in on the, the year, way. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> hey, this Rockets team. Hey, shout out to y'all. This Houston team. I know it's been rough. I know it's been rough the last couple of years, but y'all Rockets fans, y'all got a good one in EMA. Y'all doing it the right way. And uh, I'm impressed, bro. I'm, I'm really impressed by what I see with them. 100%, man. It's crazy. Like, they they really just got more serious. That's what it was. They, mm -hmm. they just got them more, more serious. We talked about it before. Eme coming in there was going to be huge for them because he was going to get those guys balled in on the defensive end or the defensive side of the ball. Um, like not playing like an AAU team, like you said, playing through Shingun, playing through your best player, which is like what you should have been doing in the first place. But they were trying to lose anyway, so it really didn't matter. Now yeah. when you're in a position where like, well, we have no reason to lose, we're going to come out here and try to win every game. They're just playing more serious, and it shows on the court because, like you said, they're beating good teams. Not like they're just 
beating up on bums. They look good. And man, we we know ball because we called it. Like we've been the Rockets guys the off season. Like come on, man, you should. Right. You would have been ahead of the curve if you've been listening to the podcast. That's all I got. Exactly. You'd have been ahead. Of, you'd have been. This wouldn't be a surprise to you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Maybe this. This is a little bit of a surprise to us. But you would have known <laughs> that they was at least like, all right, cool. They weren't gonna be last year. They weren't gonna look like an AAU team. They were gonna be a little bit more serious. So, I mean, like I said, certain things probably will cool down though. Like um, like Dylan Brooks is not gonna shoot this well. Fifty four percent from three is crazy. It's not. <laughs> it's not staying up there. But I do think, like, bro, he has a legitimate shot to shoot over forty percent from three this year if he hey. keeps his volume in check. Like I said, living around three to four threes a game that feels good for him. He's reigning all defensive team player. He still plays elite defense, and if he's giving you. 15, 16 a night on 40% from three with elite defense. That's an elite role player. This contract looked kind of good, bro. Yeah, like, no, it looks great. That's an elite role. Like, because like, what more can you ask out of like a role player? It's like bro, anything out of that. We're talking about it. This is like your third option, 20 a night. Like, bro, facts. you know what I'm saying? Like, facts, facts. And it's funny because I mean, honestly, you say he playing this way, he could say whatever he want to whoever he wants at this point. And it's funny because we all we was like, yo, bro, what if he goes to the Rockets and he start hooping? <laughs> This is really, and that's what go. happens, bro. That's what happens. And then it's even funnier how the Grizzlies are so bad. <laughs> the Grizzlies in turn are so bad, bro. But what was, what was, what did they say? Uh, oh, yeah, we would not be bringing him back under, under no any, circumstances. <laughs> under yeah. no circumstances. Now they like, please come back under any <laughs> circumstance, please. <laughs> Yo, nah, this yeah. is it, this is funny, man. But yeah, no, shout out to the Rockets. They they're doing anything. It's it good for them, though. Definitely good for them. Big time. He may doing big things in Houston. So shout out to them for sure.